So when I was back in college and going for my computer science degree, one of the classes we had to take was Computers 101. Now, Computers 101 was a basic class. It was learning about computers, learning about, you know, basic stuff when it came to computers, right? Like how to put one together, how to start, how to stop, you know, what are the different kernels, what are the different this and that, right? So it was a whole entire class. But the one thing we did do a lot of, it was using virtual machines. Now, virtual machines are pretty much the same concept of a regular PC. Think of it like this. I log into a PC, right? You are at your PC. Then I can go ahead and open up a virtual machine that is also Windows 10. Now that Windows 10 virtual machine is all contained inside that virtual machine. So I can allocate different RAM amounts. I can allocate different, you know, uh, storage amounts to that virtual machine. And at the end of the day, if I want to, I can destroy that virtual machine and it goes bye-bye. A lot of times in the class, we'd always blow up our virtual machines, which is pretty much you overloading it completely and destroying it. But again, like I said, I digress in that. With that being said, though, this is kind of where this all becomes a thing. Because in that class, we would always go ahead and run two different virtual machines. We had Fedora and we also had Ubuntu. And this comment right here, this tweet right here, somebody says that they are claiming that they are running Ubuntu on a uh, Microsoft Surface Duo 2. Now, Ubuntu is a Linux-based system. So it's a Linux-based OS, pretty much. Pretty much this is what it looks like if you guys are trying to visualize what it looks like now every virtual machine you can run any os you want you can run a boot too you can run you know a linux based system but on other uh, virtual machines you can also run different things like windows 10 right you can run any os you want to that's where the door kind of comes into play with that being said though just going back to this and he actually has a picture right here of him running this and this is a virtual machine which is actually hilarious because if you ever blow one up, this is this gets a little crazy. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. Um, but with that being said, though, that really begs the question because the big thing about this all, right, is the fact that the guy that we've been talking about, which we call him the hacker, but reality-wise, he's a guy who was able to go ahead and get Windows 11 running on the Lumia um Lumia 950 device, right? And that's this guy right here, the Gus 33000, uh, right? He was able to get a run on that. And recently we talked about how he did pick up the Surface Duo to, uh, 1 and actually wanted to go ahead and see, hey, listen, could I get something to go on the Surface Duo 1? And he hasn't really given us too much of an update of what he's been able to do. He said the reason is the SOC, I will explain more what time is due. Uh, the Linux you run here isn't directly assessing the hardware or kernel. There's an interface that won't let, won't help you much. Better to run commands from a boat to or look at the source code and GitHub to learn more. So obviously he's saying that, yes, you can run this, but it's not going to fully run on the actual device. This interests me. The reason why this interests me is because I feel like this is what the Surface Duo 1 and 2 should be. Now, he's running on the Duo. He's trying to get it running on the Duo 1, uh, this Gus guy. And that's why, again, he posted that he picked up the Duo 1. And he has this whole entire thing of him running stuff on it. Because the Duo 1 is the device that you really are going to be able to do anything on. The, the Duo 1, at the end of the day, was supposed to come with Windows. And then they switched to Android at the last second, which ended up being a uh, better idea but still very glitchy with that being said though that's why it really does interest me because if you can run a virtual machine right on the surface duo one or two i just feel like that is what the duo one and two should be it should be that you know next level pc experience but also have a cell phone included and i think that's what Microsoft was really going for when they created the Surface Duo 1 was like, listen, we want to have that next level Surface lineup type, you know, experience, but also cell phone included in that. And it just couldn't get it right. And my last video I made, I talked about this. I said that this that Microsoft should hire this guy. And somebody said that he actually did apply. And Microsoft denied him. And that's um obviously here or there. But it just interests me a lot because, again, like I said before, you know, if you could run any base OS you want on the duo and you could really customize that and make it, you know, your own device pretty much. 
it just adds so much more layers to it. And I, and I know you might say, well, for the basic Joe average, he's not going to know how to run, you know, a boat to on this device right here, right? Or, you know, on this device right here, either one. But I don't feel like, I feel like, you know, Microsoft with the Duo 2, they tried so hard to get to that flagship market, right? They tried so hard to push past that niche that they're kind of trapped in. And it didn't work out. Let's be honest. It really didn't work out them trying to push back that niche because that's not what this phone is. This Duo 1 and the Duo 2 is a very niche phone. The Fold 3 is a flagship phone. There's a difference. These phones... Doing stuff like this, running a boot to running for door, running virtual machines, and just truly pushing past that line. That's why I feel like it makes these phones special. But again, like I said, I digress because it's a really cool concept. Really cool. This guy is running a boot to on it. It looks like according to the other guy that he can't truly run it on it. But again, still a cool concept. Cool idea. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.